On 15 February 1980, Scott attended a session where Malcolm and Angus Young were working on the beginnings of two songs that would later be recorded on the Back in Black album, Have a Drink on Me and Let Me Put My Love Into You with Scott accompanying on drums rather than singing or writing lyrics. Days earlier, Scott had gone with Mick Cox to visit their friends the French group Trust in the Scorpio Sound Studio in London where they recorded the album Repression, Scott was working on the English adaptation of texts by Bernie Bonvoisin for the English version of the album. During this visit, the musicians did a jam session of Ride On. This improvised session was Scott's last recording. Sometime during the late evening of the 18th of February and early morning of the 19th of February, Scott passed out and died at the age of 33. He had just visited a London club called The Music Machine, currently known as Coco. He was left to sleep in a Renault 5 owned by a friend of Scott's, Alistair Kinnear, at 67 Overhill Road in East Dulwich. Later that day, Kinnear found Scott lifeless, and alerted the authorities. Scott was taken to King's College Hospital in Camberwell, where he was pronounced dead on arrival. The official report of the coroner concluded that Scott had died of acute alcohol poisoning and classified it as death by misadventure. The chronology of events on the 19th of February and when exactly Scott was found dead has been challenged by Jesse Fink's 2017 book Bomb, The Last Highway, which quotes late UFO guitarist Paul Chapman as having been informed early that morning by Scott's friend Joe Fury that Scott was dead. Kinnear said he found Scott in the evening. Chapman claims Scott and Fury were with him the previous evening of the 18th of February and Scott left his apartment to buy heroin, never to return. Fink's book also reveals Scott and Kinnear were not alone in East Dulwich but with a third person, Zena Kakuli, who stayed over at Kinnear's apartment while Scott remained in the parked Renault. An updated edition of Fink's book released in 2018 produces new evidence that a fourth individual, Kakuli's husband the rock musician Peter Perrot, was also with Scott, Kinnear, and Kakuli. Fink contends that pulmonary aspiration of vomit was the cause of Scott's death via a suspected heroin overdose, but the official cause was listed on the death certificate as acute alcohol poisoning and classified as death by misadventure. As part of the funeral arrangements, Scott's body was embalmed by Desmond Henley, it was later cremated, and Scott's ashes were interred by his family at Fremantle Cemetery in Fremantle. Shortly after Scott's death, the remaining members of ACDC briefly considered quitting, however, it was eventually decided that Scott would have wanted them to continue, and, with the Scott family's encouragement, the band hired Brian Johnson as their new vocalist. Five months after Scott's death, ACDC finished the work they began with Scott and released Back in Black as a tribute to him. The issue of whether Scott's lyrics were used, uncredited, on the album remains an enduring topic of debate.